Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to learn about the very important topic of density. Uh, density is important because it's a physical property of everything around us. And so when we start to learn about different elements and compounds and their properties, density of, of the material is just going to be something that pops up over and over again. So let's spend some time here talking about what that means so that when you see the word density in your book, you're not worried about it, you're not taken aback by it, you totally understand what that means. First of all, density is a word that we use in our everyday language, so most of you, most of us, have some idea what density might mean even without talking about chemistry. So ask yourself that. What do you think the word density means? Usually we talk about something being dense or not being dense, and usually when something is dense it means it's hard to understand, somebody's dense, maybe they're hard to get along with, something like that. That's sort of what we mean in our everyday language. But getting more towards the, the, the language of science, if you think about what something that's dense might mean, you might think of uh, something being heavy, you might think of something having mass because it's very dense material, you might think of lead being very dense because it's this big heavy thing, you might think of feathers not being so dense because it's just kind of this lightweight stuff. So you know that uh, mass slash weight play a part in the definition of density, uh, but that's only part of what we're going to, to, to find uh, that we have. So the first thing you need to sort of know, and I know that you all know this, is that everything around you has mass, right? This marker has mass. I can put it on a balance and I can figure out what its mass is. I can tell you that this has maybe like six grams of mass here, right? But this marker also has a volume associated with it. I can calculate that. It's basically a cylinder. So I know the radius of the cylinder. I know how long the cylinder is. I know some math. So I can calculate the, the volume of this guy. So I know its mass, uh, because I can measure that. And I know its volume, because I can measure that too. And what happens is if you take the mass and divide it by the volume, you get what we call density. It's mass per volume, or mass divided by volume, however you want to think about it. Basically, in layman's terms, density is trying to tell you how much mass something has compared to how big it is. Because when you think about it for a second, uh, the mass of an object, you know, um, the mass of a pile of lead here, yeah, it's important to know what that is, maybe, but the mass of a pile of lead is not really a great uh, property of the substance because maybe my pile is this big, maybe my pile of lead is this big, maybe my pile of lead is as big as a house. So when I measure the mass of something, that's useful to know, but it's not the whole story if I'm talking about the property of the thing, because I may have a truckload of, of lead. Likewise, maybe I have three feathers in my hand and I can take the mass of those feathers, not going to be too much weight or too much mass. But what if I have, you know, an entire backyard full of feathers, or maybe an entire basketball stadium full of feathers? It's going to have a lot of mass, but it takes up so much volume. So when you really want to compare two things, you can't just talk about the mass, usually. You need to talk about the mass in relation to how much space it takes up, which is the volume. So that's why we define something called mass per volume, and that's what we call density. So let's go and put some numbers to it to make sure you understand. So we're talking about the topic of density. All right. So what we know is that uh, objects, object has a mass in kilograms. You can measure it in grams. You can measure it in kilograms. You can measure it in other units, but they're 